Hello everybody, Adam at Flash Building here. What we're going to cover today in PHP and MySQL is how to get your MySQL timestamps to display as a go time. Like 10 seconds ago, 3 years ago, 4 months ago, 3 weeks ago, 2 decades ago. And we're going to go all the way up to decades, all the way down to the seconds. Okay? And just to give you an idea, I'll read off this question in the forums. Hi, I have a series of posts from each user. Instead of each post giving the time and date the post was made, I would like for it to say so many days ago, e.g. four days ago. So we'll be showing you how to do that. And on the home page of Develop PHP, you can see I use it all over my site. And since I do use it on multiple pages on my site, and this is the kind of thing I also use it in my Flash chat program. You can see it says a go time in there. See? Garth posted this 27 seconds ago. Our Mazook posted this 34 seconds ago. So that's how it works. When it gets to the minutes, you can see it says one minute ago. All the way down to the hours and everything. Now, due to the nature of this request, this is going to be delivered in object-oriented programming. And the only reason I'm going to teach object-oriented programming here is because of the nature of this request. This is the type of script that you might use on 20 different pages on your site. So you don't want to have these functions on all of these 20 different pages on your site. You want to make sure that these functions are in a separate class file. That way we can connect to them and have reusable modular code. And don't worry, I'm going to explain everything to you and I'm also going to give you a free download zip package that you can that you can snatch up and it has the example file and the class folder and everything in it, okay? So you don't worry, I give you a nice example for you. It's not the download zip is not going to be in the YouTube video description. It's going to be on a page of Develop PHP, but I'm going to link to that page on Develop PHP at YouTube. So at YouTube you can click the link, go to Develop PHP, grab the zip file, and test it out for yourself. Okay, now before I explain the scripts, I'm going to FTP them up and make sure that they work. I have a PHP 5 server, so you know that if you're running PHP 5, that this will work for you. If you're running PHP 4 and it doesn't seem to work for you, then you'll know why. But if you're running PHP 5, this is going to work for you. Okay, so let's FTP that up. And you can see that the time right now shows 22 hours ago. Because it's set to yesterday, March 30th, 2010. But what if I make this... February 30th. Put that a 2, make that a 2. Control S, save the file, it's FTP, the new version. And let's go to that page online and refresh it. So you can see it says four weeks ago. That's awesome. That's exactly what we want. Now if we put this as a 1 for January, file, yeah, FTP it. Okay, so there you go. Now you know it works without a doubt on a PHP 5 enabled server. It'll probably work on a PHP 4 enabled server just as well. And uh, it'll go all the way from seconds all the way up to the decades. Okay, first I'm going to explain this example file, which would be the script or file that you desire to display the ago time on, whether it be your home page of your site or some other page, it doesn't matter. So what we'll do is, first thing, we'll open up a PHP block, and you can see lines 1 through 8, there's a PHP block with a few lines of code in it and then on line 10 we have HTML output for the page so on line 2 we include once from the classes folder and once you download the zip package you're gonna see inside the zip package a folder called classes and inside that folder there's gonna be this develop PHP library file here now it's gonna be a class library so we include from the classes folder that file called developphplibrary.php. Now the third line is what creates the object. And the object is needed to access those functions inside of the class. So we create the object, it's called time ago object, and it's equal to new convert to a go. So it's a new convert to a go object called time ago object. And you'll see that in the library there's convert to a go class is named convert to a go and here's the whole class you can see that class ends right there so what we do is establish the object then here I just put a timestamp 
it's a static variable but yours you would query your database here and get the timestamp from the while loop out of the MySQL query mine is just going to be a static version of really what would be sitting in your database date time field the timestamp so I'm just using a static example here but you would query your database and get all these values out of the database all the timestamps out or if you're just gathering one you would gather the one timestamp out and put it in a variable called TS now these next two lines are the real magic and these two lines are what sends variable values to that class file to those functions inside of that class and it, you can also you can have all kind of functions run within those classes for any string data that you want to send to them and it's going to return data back so what we do is we claim a variable called converted time and that's equal to our time ago object running the convert date time function on this timestamp so you'll see in the library there's a function in that class convert to ago there's a function called convert date time that's the one we just targeted there convert date time and we're sending that timestamp to it so the timestamp gets changed to a, a variable called string and then that string can be manipulated using all these PHP functions to do these various things you might be looking at this saying what the hell is all this and what the hell is all this doing you can go to php.net and uh, explore what each one of these little functions do these are native functions in PHP that you can easily research at php.net and get tons of examples on how each one of these work make time, explode, list array, round, all that good stuff. So back to it. Here's the function convert date time. When everything runs and everything gets converted here, it returns a value of timestamp. And you can see timestamp is created with the make time variable here. So that timestamp is returned to your to your uh, main file that wants to display the time. Once that's returned, all of that data that was processed through the function is now sitting in a variable called converted time so this next line uses that converted time variable there to make a go time and the variable is going to be named when and that's pretty much the end of it when is can be, when can be echoed out to your page and that's going to be the go time you want so what happens to the when variable is we refer to the time a go object once again to access the make a go function within the class file and the make a go function is running this converted time string into it so let's go back to that class file and here's the make a go function and that runs all these various things and returns a value text which is not going to be the word text it's going to be one week ago one month ago one year ago or whatever it takes that converted date time and it turns it into a go time for you and basically that's all it is it's that simple so you make sure you have your class file on server in that folder called classes and you make sure you have this file there and then you can use this method on any one of your pages so if you have 20 different pages you can see how it's going to be handy all this code and these two functions are not going to have to be on all different various pages on your site where you want to or any scripts where you want to show the ago time so that's pretty much how it works you can get the download package this is going to be the example file this is the library and that's all you need to know so pick it up scoop it up experiment with it try it out and you'll see that it works fine and like I said I'm on a PHP 5 enabled server and if you're on a PHP 4 server I do believe this function uh, this whole package will still work for you but I recommend being on a PHP 5 enabled server okay so we'll see you next time and don't forget this download package is going to be available on the YouTube description of this video you click that link you go to the page of develop PHP download the zip package and have fun